Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We are going to play a video from a recent exercise called Exercise Dharma Guardian conducted by Indian and Japanese Army. Please watch this video carefully as there is something exciting in this video for all the defense enthusiasts. The snippet was shared by PRO Defense Mumbai from Counter Terrorism Operation Demo at Maratha Light Infantry Regiment Center MLIRC Belgavi Karnataka. This is the third Indo-Japan joint exercise being conducted between 27th Feb to 10th of March at MLIRC. In the video, we can see Indian Army using Kalyani E-cars and DRDO's Daksh. Clearly, Indian Army has inducted these two autonomous vehicles in some numbers regarding which we will be discussing in detail. Dutch is a battery operated remotely operated vehicle ROV or robot on wheels that was created with the primary function of bomb recovery. 20 ROVs were handed to Indian Army back in December 2011. These robots can handle, scan and diffuse improvised explosive devices IEDs. It is fully automated and can navigate staircases, negotiate steep slopes, navigate narrow corridors and tow vehicles to reach hazardous materials. Using its robotized arm, it can lift a suspect object and scan it using portable X-ray device. If the object is a bomb, Dux can defuse it with its water jet disruptor. It has a shotgun which can break open locks and it can scan cars for explosive. With a master control station MCS, it can be remotely controlled over a range of 500 meter in the line of sights or within buildings. Dutch is 100% indigenous robot with contribution from Indian SMEs, notably amongst them being Dynalog. It is an outcome of Army's review of its counter IED policy in the 90s. The next autonomous vehicle which we are going to talk about is Kalyani's e-cars. Kalyani has recently demonstrated its e-cars 4x4 multi-terrain vehicle to Indian Army. E-cars or Enhanced Collaborative Autonomous System is a four-wheel ATV with a skid steer mechanism designed to perform surveillance, security and rescue missions in collaborative engagements. The 6x6 version of this vehicle was earlier showcased in Defense Expo 2018 and 2020 as well. It is a type of UGV which offers enhanced collision avoidance system, threat analysis and mission planning. It is designed to perform surveillance, security and rescue missions in collaborative engagements. The vehicle is equipped with a video motion sensors which enables it to operate autonomously. It also features many sensors such as positioning, mapping, path planning and obstacle detection that makes it capable to operate under all type of terrain. Its all-terrain and amphibious design make it suitable for operating under various conditions and geography. It can climb slopes of 45 degree maximum under temperatures ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 40 degrees Celsius. The vehicle can reach up to 20 km per hour when manually driven or 10 to 15 km per hour in autonomous missions. The e-cars can operate up to 24 hours continuously when working on battery and generator or 6 hours continuous in silent mode. Following the local operational parameters, the operator can select Wi-Fi or a radio frequency to pilot the vehicle. Kalyani has developed two versions of these vehicles, e-cars 4x4 and e-cars 6x6. The 6x6 configuration can be weaponized with a remotely controlled weapon station RCWS with a 12.7mm machine gun. The vehicle is easy to control 
economical and low on maintenance making it an ideal choice for army to patrol on the tough terrains of LSE where China has also showcased similar kind of vehicle. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.